It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am keeping my Halloween shirt on tonight. <laughs> We're talking about fall, though. Oh, my gosh. I got to talk about um, this Neutrals collection. Um, these jars are very plain, but I'm kind of digging the fragrances in these. So I'm actually burning um, the apple and charcoal. I'm going to review this one. Boy, this jar is hot, though. I got to say... I'm loving the pink, but boy, this jar is like burning like super hot for some reason. Um, I want to talk about this whole collection though. I saw these today. Did I get a picture? I, I'm going to look through my phone. I may have a picture of the whole collection. I think I took one. <laughs> I was like running through the store taking pictures. Um, but this collection is really good. So let me go through all of them. So we have Blue Jasmine and Current, which is a new fragrance. That actually smelled good. I did like that one. Spice Pumpkin and Patchouli, which is not new. That one is amazing. You got to get Spice Pumpkin and Patchouli if you like um, like any of those like rich pumpkin scents. Um, Cypress and Cedarwood. I don't think I smelled that one today. I don't know why. That was the green one, uh, but it sounds amazing because I like Cypress. And then we have... Salted Amber and Vetiver. I think I smelled that one. That had like a, almost like a, um, it's like a summer scent. Uh, that was the turquoise one. We had the, that's new by the way. Um, Apple and Charcoal, which I'm going to review. Dark Amber and Oud, which is not new. And then we have the coffee and whiskey, which I did get. I really, really wanted this one. Oh, cinnamon stick. When did cinnamon stick show up? Oh my gosh, you guys, that's kind of interesting. Um, those jars with the gold, I didn't see this one in the store. They have cinnamon stick out already? Wow. Okay, that's usually a Christmas one. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on. It's it's confusing. We're going to have to go through everything in a little bit more detail. There's pumpkin spice latte, too. I'm like, there's so much happening, you guys. <laughs> so, um, coffee and whiskey is bold Irish whiskey, a splash of vanilla, and a hint of coffee. I love this. I'm going to talk about the candle and the body care at the same time because I am digging that body care. So, apple and charcoal, which I have burning. Um, this has got a huge wax pull on here. Look at the pink. This pink is so pretty. It's almost like a rosy pink. It looks like fall pink. It's so pretty. Um, and it's like a really interesting take on apple. So, the scent notes in this one are sweet red apple and smoked charcoal. There's only like two sets. <laughs> like It's sweet red apple and smoked charcoal. So I think what it is, is do you guys remember heirloom apple? Um, it's come out in a couple of other like fragrances. I can't remember what else they call it, but heirloom apple is the one that's coming to mind. It's a very, oh, Mac, is it Macintosh? I think it might be. It's a very strong sharp apple. It's not like um, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which let me grab my sweet cinnamon pumpkin here. Um, this one is super sweet. So if you like a super sweet um, apple, which you know, I love this one. Um, this has got the fall pumpkin. Oh my gosh. I love pumpkin apple. You know that this one's completely different. This is like your heirloom Macintosh apple. But it's got this wonderful, like, smoky quality. And it's not a gross, dirty smoke. Um, it's not... See, pumpkin clove to me is sharp. Um, this is more like... And it's not It's not sweet like marshmallow either. It's not like marshmallow fireside. It's more just like a beautiful fall campfire mixed with that, like, wonderful Macintosh apple. But you, like I said, you don't get that horrible, like, smokiness. It's like they've captured the campfire, um, maybe a little bit of, like, uh, that wood burning you get, but then they've mixed it all up with the Macintosh heirloom apple, and they've created, like, this, like, beautiful fragrance. I gotta say, I am loving this one. It was funny. When I smell these in the store, I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to get this candle. I'm like, it's funny because I was really gravitating um, towards these neutrals. Oh, where did I put my, <laughs> I'm like, where did I put my coffee and whiskey? These were really, really doing it for me. I like these. The jars aren't super exciting because you know me, I tend to like the flashier jars. I actually love this jar. <laughs> I 
love that. I love the blueberry pumpkin patch. Um, but I feel like this collection, this Neutrals collection, um, is so unique. Um, it smells like, like I said, a ripe basket of apples, Macintosh, fresh apple, and then this beautiful campfire. Um, and the throw, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a 9.5. I'm getting this all through the living room, and uh, it's wonderful. It's clean burn. It's burning beautiful. It's smelling beautiful. It's throwing beautiful. I think this is going to be a really nice uh, fall favorite candle. And I kind of like the way they put it in this beautiful, um, like, tea rose pink. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I'm digging it. So, yay. And it's funny because I'm almost thinking that, like, this should match... <laughs> the soap should match the candle and it doesn't. Because some of the candles match the soap. Like, this matches. But this is that bergamot and turmeric, which I got to even try. I don't know. I'm going to do a whole like soap thing coming up probably tomorrow. Anyway. Oh my goodness, you guys. Fall has arrived and I am digging it. This candle is wonderful. This is going to be a good patio candle. I got to get out there and do a patio candle. Maybe this weekend. Maybe, maybe I'll do a Friday night outdoor video. I'm hoping it doesn't rain tomorrow. Anyway. Oh my goodness. If you have this one, let me know. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.